So it's October 24th. They're projecting a real cold night, potentially a frost, if not tonight, tomorrow, and the next day. So all the day we've been in a kind of a rush and we're harvesting uh, what what we are afraid that might get bit by the frost. So we planted some sweet potatoes. Uh, in a previous video, we showed you where we planted about 15 slips. We took some cuttings off of those and an area we're digging up now, uh, we probably had about not even 15 slips. And look at the size of these babies planted in wood chips uh, or planted in the ground with wood chips covering them. Well, let's go take a look at how the harvest is coming, coming up next. So it's the end of the season. There's kind of a mess around. Uh, please forgive me. We're, we are building a house, as most of you know, so we have not really had a lot of time to spend in the garden. As you can see, we are on a hillside right here. And we chose this spot specifically, and as a matter of fact, these sweet potatoes got in late. We grew our garlic here. So we didn't even plant the sweet potatoes until, uh, I think, somewhere around July after we harvested our garlic. Uh, but the one reason that we chose this spot, both for the garlic and the sweet potatoes, being right downhill, we're composting right here in this area. So when it rains, those nutrients flow down. What we did in this area for preparation, we pulled out our garlic and that was it. And we left it. It has wood chips on down for about a year. Uh, there was some horse manure we put last fall when we, when we planted the garlic. And then we didn't do any further preparation in between the garlic and the sweet potatoes. We dug up, we moved the chips to the side. We took a slip, pushed it in the ground, moved the chips back. And that's what we have. And you can see, we've not touched this. Everything is overgrown. We got the remnants of a, a pear cherry tomato in the background that got some late season blight. Um, here, let's take a look and see what we got here. Simply, we're pulling the, here's a spot right here, it looks like. We're pulling the vines back. And we can see this is an area of, of attachment. And let's see what we got underneath here. We found all different kinds of shapes and sizes. Uh, the root structures happen to run everywhere under the chips. Looks like we got some small ones in here. And you can see there's nice chips breaking down and some compost occurring in here. And and this is the edge of a row, actually. It looks to me like this is where the, the vines happen to run out to and then just attach themselves. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. You don't, don't know what you're going to find down here. Now that's a sweet potato! All these little ones be nice, fried up in some butter. And you can see we have very clayey soil. I mean, this is nothing special. We did not rototill this soil. We did not, we have not rototilled this garden whatsoever. We just laid the chips down and the chips are doing their thing. This is a long skinny one. It looks like I'm gonna end up breaking it when I'm gonna get it out of here. Not too bad. And this is just one spot we got here. A lot of little ones. But the little ones taste good. Now this is also with the chips and the, the compost part that's broken down. And these work their way through the soil. This is just going to get better and better. Because now when we go ahead and rebury this, we're going to have some of that nice compost within the soil to help loosen it up for next year and the year after and the year after. Look at that, you can see some nice fungal domination in here. Just wants to run and run. We find that with a lot of the root structures from our plants because it's so 
nice and soft and airy down here. Not doing the best job of keeping some of these little ones together, but they'll still fry up nicely. And we'll save the big ones for bacon. Let's see how. Oh, there's another run of them right in here. Looks like. Wow, look at this. This is all just where. Can I get that last one over there? This is all just where the roots attached. Okay, so we'll dig these last ones up here. Oh, you gotta be really careful because there's a nice one right there. No one. These are good shaped ones. So once again, this area here had about, I don't know, it had a garlic crop in for, for the planted last fall, harvest it in that spring. Overall, this area here has, I don't know, about maybe two inches left. It was four inches of wood chips when we put it down and this area had some slips that we uh, we had rooted off of the other area down down a ways let's go take a look down there and see how that area progressed so we were digging in that area and in between coming down here the camera ran out of film or film <laughs> the camera ran out of battery film that's dating myself the camera ran out of battery, but I could not not stand not working because it's supposed to frost tonight and I had to get these potatoes out of the ground. So I kept on digging, dug up this area. We planted a total of 15 slips in this area. Now the biggest difference between this area and that area, we dumped five truckloads of chips in this area and spread it out. We did a power of wood chips video. That's the peach that was in this that video. And this is the the sweet potatoes that were behind it. You can go ahead and take a look at that video. At the end of this video, there'll be a link for that. So you can go back and review that and these apple trees on my left here. This area was fairly thick. It had to be about eight inches thick. So and you can see it's broken down just beautifully over the course of the spring. And I'll tell you what, this area is rocking with potatoes. We've had some good, nice sized potatoes come out of the ground over here. As we're digging things up, I mean, here's a couple of real nice ones right there. Not the prettiest thing, but it's a big potato. And I was surprised when this alien came out of the ground and it's father this is a sweet potato now if you don't think that wood chips make a difference i have not added any additional fertilizer this is wood chips and the power of the wood chips this baby is a football so let's take a look i'm not making any kind of promises oh we have a few more slip areas that we've planted in here you can see that these, these vines have just grown dense and thick and unbelievably so. Just in this area, we planted three slips, four slips, four slips, and four slips. A total of 15 slips. So, let's see. You can see how, how rich the soil looks and broken down. And there are some potatoes in here. Big sweet potatoes. I'm telling you, no additional fertilizer. Large potato after large potato. They're just coming and coming and coming. And this is all wood chip, so it's nice and fluffy. It is clay soil underneath. I mean, you can definitely see 
of this clay soil. So there's no secret here, but these chips are thick on top and breaking down nicely. And the potatoes obviously just love it. I mean, this is one spot you're watching me. There's no camera tricks here. And they just keep coming and coming and coming. There's more potatoes in here. And you can see the fungal growth in here. I mean, there's the answer right there. Look at that, it's beautiful. Oh, ah! Oh! The sharded one. Man, what a hack I am. Oh well. They're gonna taste just as good. It's the one I skewered. Oh, there's China! Yeah, these are growing right down in that clay soil beneath the chips. And there's that one that I skewered that's really down in there deep. Oh man, I just heard another one. Oh my gosh, how many potatoes are in here? Need a backhoe for some of these. These aren't, these are pieces of the one that I just skewered all up. So, uh, let's move on real quick. Oh, there we go, there's the end of it. That's all from one slip. With some real nice sized potatoes in there. Now what I'm doing, as I'm taking off these vines, is I'm placing them here, above our apple trees on the hillside so that these will decompose and break down and then help to feed the apple trees this winter. And for those that didn't know, an interesting tidbit about sweet potatoes, the leaves are edible. Makes a great salad. We've got horseradish down here and we take a mixture of the sweet potato leaves, the horseradish leaves which are edible as well, and then we've got some mustard greens growing down on the other end down there. Makes a nice crunchy salad and uh, we have a creamy cilantro. Is it avocado cilantro? Avocado cilantro dressing. I can't remember the brand name, but it is divine. Let's take a look at one more dig, one more hole here. And we'll wrap it up because this has gotten to be a really long video. There's that peach tree in the background from the Power of Wood Chips video. And you can see how beautiful that is growing from a slip the size of your finger, your pinky finger, or even a little bit smaller. And in less than one year's growth, an inch and three quarter diameter, about eight inches above the soil line. You can see how dense these, these uh, vines are here. Okay, here we go. Last one and we'll call it a video. What are we gonna get? It's always interesting. Oh, this is a weird one. Looks like the chips are a little bit thinner over here. Or not as deep, I should say. More of a carrot shaped one. Wood chips. Look at this.
I mean, I think this speaks volumes. Oh, we got a big one over here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This one's cool. Man, you can see all the fungus in there. Fry them up with a little bit of butter. Okay. Oh my. I think we hit the motherboard. There's a lot of centipedes around here. Where they go where things are breaking down. You find tons of them in there and all other kinds of soil left. Okay, here we go. Now that's a sweet potato. Speaks volumes for the process. So if you haven't thought about it already, and you're seeing our videos, and you're seeing what the wood chips do, mind you, we have no well. We don't use chemicals. We did not add any other fertilizer. This is a matter of spreading the wood chips on the ground, planting your slips in it. This spring we'll show you how to do the slips. And then it's a waiting game. Our last beauty. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and most of all, come grow with us.